It's time for another tail air theory quickie. During the arc portion of the Nat 7.morn departure procedure, a left crosswind is encountered. Where should the bearing pointer of an RMI be referenced relative to the wingtip to compensate for wind drift to maintain the 15 DME arc? A. Behind the right wingtip reference point. B. Behind the left wingtip reference point. Or C on the right wingtip reference point. So here we are established on the 15 DME arc from the Rogue Valley VOR. The bearing pointer is tuned and pointing directly towards the beacon. As you can see we have zero wind and the bearing pointer is oriented directly towards the right wing. It left its Make America Great Again hat at home today. You can see here though that with this setup the aircraft is maintaining 15.1 nautical miles from the VOR consistently and therefore remaining on the DME arc. Now let's add some wind. Here is a wind from the west-northwest at 20 knots. I will keep the bearing pointer on the right wingtip reference point. You can now see that the distance from the VOR is gradually decreasing. The left crosswind is blowing us inside the arc. This is confirmed by the magenta course deviation indicator, which is set up for the GPS ground track of the arc. This is showing a fly left indication, and the deviation shown is getting bigger and bigger. As you can see here, we started at 15 nautical miles DME from the VOR, and we're now 14.8 nautical miles DME from the VOR. We've therefore been blown inside of the arc. So, to correct for this drift, we need to adjust the heading of the aircraft into wind. Here is an example with the same west-northwesterly wind, but this time we are maintaining the correct DME distance from the VOR, and the GPS course deviation indicator is centered. Notice how the heading of the aircraft is now on the left of the ground track required by the GPS to maintain the arc. You can also see that due to this difference in heading, the bearing pointer is now no longer on the right wing and is now pointing slightly behind the right wing. So, the answer to the question, during the arc portion of the Nat 7.morn departure procedure, a left crosswind is encountered, where should the bearing pointer of an RMI be referenced relative to the wingtip to compensate for wind drift to maintain the DME arc is A. Behind the right wingtip reference point 